right uh, good morning to all good morning sir good morning sir right very good morning thank you right in the last class uh, we discussed about uh, passes first thermon limits and the uh, corollary of passes first thermon limits and passes second thermon limits right so what passes first thermon limit says passes first thermon limit says cheptundamma sn is a sequence such that sn greater than 0 for all small n belongs to capital n and uh, sn converges to l then s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus 1 plus sn by n converges to l okay so sn anedi converges to l aithe s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus 1 plus sn by n anedi kuda converges to l ani cassis first thermon limits cheptundi cassis first thermon limits ek corollary em cheptundi sn is a sequence such that sn greater than 0 for all small n belongs to capital n then sn converges to l aithe then s1 into s2 into s3 and so on sn whole power 1 by n is also converges to l what cassi second theorem on limit says cassi second theorem on limit says cheptundamma sn is a sequence such that sn greater than 0 for all small n belongs to capital n then sn plus 1 by sn converges to l then limit nth root of sn converges to l ikkada cassi second theorem on limit says cheptundante sn plus 1 by sn anedi converges to l aithe ganaka nth root sn anedi kuda converges to l avutundi right so now today we are going to uh, learn ratio test cesaros theorem and some problems on uh, all the sandwich theorem cassis first theorem on limit second theorem on limit ratio and uh, combined so we go for the some problems also right so now ratio test em cheptundi so i will share the ppt is it visible visible sir right ratio test em cheptundi ante as usual sn is a sequence such that sn greater than 0 for all small n belongs to capital n and uh, sn plus 1 by sn converges to l aithe then em avutundi sn converges to 0 if l less than 1 a l will a 1 kante takkuva ayinappudu aithe S n anedi converges to zero avutundi. L greater than one aithe S n diverges to avutundi. As n tends to infinity, S n tends to infinity. L is equal to one aithe. We cannot decide the nature of the sequence whether it is a convergent sequence or a divergent sequence. Is it clear? Is it clear? Understood. Understood. Right. ఒక సీక్వెన్స్ ఎస్ అని అని ఒక సీక్వెన్స్ తీసుకున్నాం ఓకే ఐ విల్ యూస్ ద వైట్ బోర్డ్ రైట్ ఎస్ అని ఇస్ ఎ సీక్వెన్స్ సచ్ దట్ ఎస్ అన్ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ జీరో ఫర్ ఆల్ స్మాల్ ఎన్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు క్యాపిటల్ ఎన్ అయితే సీక్వెన్స్ ఎస్ అండ్ కన్వర్జెంట్ అవుతుందా డైవర్జెంట్ అవుతుందా అని మనం రేషియో టెస్ట్ ఉపయోగించి మనం చెప్పాలంటే వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఫైండ్ లిమిట్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్ ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై ఎస్ ఎన్ వాల్యూ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేయాలి రైట్ వీ గెట్ ద వాల్యూ ఎల్ రైట్ ఈ ఎల్ మీద సీక్వెన్స్ ఎస్ అన్ అనేది కన్వర్జెంట్ అవుతుందా డైవర్జెంట్ అవుతుందా టెస్ట్ ఫెయిల్ అవుతుంది అనేది ఆధారపడి ఉంటుంది సో ఎల్ లెస్ దాన్ జీరో అయితే సీక్వెన్స్ ఎస్ ఎన్ కన్వర్జెస్ టు జీరో సారీ ఎల్ లెస్ దాన్ వన్ నాట్ జీరో ఎల్ లెస్ దాన్ వన్ అయితే సీక్వెన్స్ ఎస్ ఎన్ converges to zero e l will be greater than 1 aithe sequence s n diverges to infinity e l value 1 ochind ankonde if l is equal to 1 we cannot decide whether it is a convergent sequence or a divergent sequence kabatti l is equal to 1 ochina appudu ratio test fail avutundi is the point is clear now yes right yes sir 
ikkada manu ratio test apply chesthe ganaka so sn is a sequence as that sn greater than 0 for all small n belongs to capital n so ikkada sn plus 1 by sn converges to l ayindi aithe ee l meda ee aadhar padi untundi l value meda sn anedi convergent avutunda divergent avutunda anedi so l value ganaka less than 1 okati kante takku vachind anukondi so then sn converge ee l will va greater than 1 vachind anukondi then sn em avutundi divergent avutundi l is equal to 1 vachind anukondi we cannot decide whether the sequence is convergent or divergent right so for example sn is equal to n plus 1 so only simply take n sn is equal to n for all small n belongs to capital n now is it convergent or divergent by using ratio test <coughs> ratio test apply as on point the very one to our man with the divergent and convergent and man chapachu so for example we are operating with the ratio test so sn is equal to n cover tissues for greater than zero sn greater than zero for all small n belongs to capital n so we have to find so limit of sn plus one by sn is equal to as n times to infinity hey, what is Then value limit n times to infinity and what is the value of sn plus 1 n plus 1 n plus 1 by n by n so what is the limit so which is equal to limit n times to infinity then everything has split just go to n by n plus n by n plus 1 by n that is 1 plus 1 by n Zero. N zero as n times infinity one by n zero, but if the limit value is one, so that the limit s n plus one by s n value and that chind man ki one or chind, right? Kabat e ratio test apply just the e sequence convergent out in the divergent out in the ani thoman chapale mo. Is it clear now? Say yes sir no. Yes sir. Clear sir. Right. And then, manu, e ratio test apply JC, yes, and then the convergent out, na, divergent out, na, 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 Where methods of we can conclude whether it is a convergent or a divergent. Right? So, I think uh, the ratio test is clear. And then, ratio test change up to the end, SN greater than zero, is SN is a sequence such that SN greater than zero for all small n belongs to capital N. SN plus one by SN converges to L I day. If L less than 1, then sequence SN is convergent. If L greater than 1, then the sequence is divergent. If L is equal to 1, the test fails to decide the nature of the sequence, whether it is a convergent sequence or a divergent sequence. Right? So, I think it is clear. Now, uh, next, uh, next theorem is Cesarov's theorem. If limit Sn is equal to L and the limit Tn is equal to L dash, Sn converges to L and Tn converges to L dash, then limit of S1 into Tn plus S2 into Tn minus 1 plus S3 into Tn minus 2 plus so on plus Sn into T1 divided by N. So the total limit value is equal to L into L dash. Okay, SN converges to L, TN converges to L dash, I take an S1 into TN plus, S2 into TN minus 1 plus, S3 into TN minus 2 plus, so on plus, SN into T1, SN into T1 by N is converges to L into L dash. This is Cicero's theorem, right? So, so far we have discussed Sandwich theorem, Cassis first theorem on limits, Cassis first theorem corollary, Cassis second theorem on limits, ratio test and Cesaro's theorem. So by using all the theorems, so we are going for to solve some problems. Okay. So first problem, Jordan D, prove that limit 10 times to infinity sine n pi by 3 by root n is equal to 0. Amma, it already man prove jaysam. Right? This problem is equal to 
limit n times t infinity sin of n pi by 3 by root n is equal to 0 ani yes sir right em ledu ikkada em chesa given that ok sir line by line cheptunnam chusam given that limit n times t infinity sin n pi by 3 by root n let sn is equal to sin n pi by 3 root n so for all small n belongs to capital n so the range of the sequence sn sin n pi by 3 is lies between minus 1 and plus 1 we know that Minus one is less than or equal to sine n pi by three is less than or equal to plus one. So, I mean, if sine n pi by three by root n kawal kabati, then root n throughout multiply as operate just the same as chundi. That implies minus one by root n is less than or equal to sine n pi by three by root n is less than or equal to one by root n. For all small n belongs to capital N, right? This is in the form of S n is less than or equal to U n is less than or equal to T n. For all small n belongs to capital N. So this this limit value find out Jenny. Limit of minus one by root n value is zero. So limit of one by root n is value is zero. Therefore, by Sandvik's theorem, Sandvik's theorem means that the if S n, U n, T n or any three sequences such that for some positive integer k, S n less than or equal to n less than or equal to T n for all small n belongs to capital n, n greater than or equal to k. And uh, if limit S n is equal to limit T n is equal to l, then limit U n is equal to l. Therefore, limit of sine n pi by three by root n is equal to l. Okay, is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the second problem also same. Prove that limit n times infinity cos n pi by n. Sorry, I think it is no, cos n pi by n is equal to zero. So same model. So then given that limit n times infinity, we have to prove limit n times infinity cos n pi by n. Let S n is equal to cos n pi by n for all small n belongs to capital N. So we know that minus one is less than or equal to cos n pi less than or equal to one. I'm operating with one by n throughout the equation. Minus one by n is less than or equal to. If I have by n not just put a mark. Cos n pi by n is less than or equal to one by n for all small n belongs to capital N. This limit value is zero and this limit value is zero by cos is first term and by sin is theorem. Man, we can conclude that limit n times infinity. Cos n pi by n is equal to zero, right? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Right. Next, uh, next problem. So, this is also important one. So, prove that limit n times to infinity square root of n plus one by n. Prove that limit n times to infinity square root of n plus one by n, right? सो ई प्रॉब्लम मन प्रूव चेयर कोई बेसीक्स इंटरमीड फस्ट फस्ट इयर बैनाम एक्सपाशन ने विपद सिद्धांत बैनाम तीर ने इंटरमीड फस्ट इयर ऐडिया सर नो ఐడియా ఉన్నవా లేవా ద్వేపద సిద్ధాంతము బైనామియల్ ఎక్స్‌పాన్షన్ యు హావ్ టు రెస్పాండ్ నో సర్ నో రైట్ సో కాబట్టి ఫస్ట్ దాని గురించి నేర్చుకున్న తర్వాత ఇప్పుడు అట్ల ఈ ప్రాబ్లం పోతాం రైట్ ఐ విల్ యూస్ బ్లాక్ బోర్డ్ Right. The first statement we have to remember is x plus y whole power n. In your case, expansion real. The first statement we have to remember is x plus y whole power n. We have to remember n is zero. X power n plus x is a gatal period on time. Y is a gatal. That is what we have to do. Y is a gatal period on time. N is zero. X power n plus n c one x power n minus one y power one plus n c two x power n minus two y square plus one plus n da n c r x power r n minus r y power r Plus so on plus. What is the last term? N C N Y power N. This is called the binomial expansion of x plus y whole power n. 
ఐడియా వచ్చిందా ఇప్పుడు ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ వై హోల్ పవర్ ఎన్ యొక్క బైనామిల్ ఎక్స్పాన్షన్ ఏంటి ఎన్సి జీరో ఎక్స్ పవర్ ఎన్ ప్లస్ ఎన్సి వన్ ఎక్స్ పవర్ ఎన్ మైనస్ వన్ వై పవర్ వన్ ప్లస్ ఎన్సి టూ ఎక్స్ పవర్ ఎన్ మైనస్ టూ వై స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ ప్లస్ ఎన్సిఆర్ ఎక్స్ పవర్ ఎన్ మైనస్ ఆర్ వై పవర్ ఆర్ ప్లస్ వన్ ప్లస్ ఎన్సి ఎన్ వై పవర్ ఎన్ హియర్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ ఎన్సిఆర్ ఎన్సిఆర్ ఏ విధంగా ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేస్తాము ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎన్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ బై ఆర్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ ఇంటూ ఎన్ మైనస్ ఆర్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ ఈ ఫార్ములా అన్నా గుర్తుందా ఎన్సిఆర్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎన్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ బై ఆర్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ ఇంటూ ఎన్ మైనస్ ఆర్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ కాబట్టి హియర్ ద జీరో ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ వన్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ వాట్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ టూ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ వాట్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ టూ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ టూ టూ ఇంటూ వన్ ఇస్ టూ త్రీ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ ఇస్ సిక్స్ అండ్ సో ఆన్ ఎన్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఏమవుతుంది ఎన్ ఇంటూ ఎన్ మైనస్ వన్ ఇంటూ ఎన్ మైనస్ టూ అండ్ సో ఆన్ అప్ టు టూ ఇంటూ వన్ రైట్ ఇస్ ఇట్ క్లియర్ నెక్స్ట్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ ఎన్సి జీరో ఎంత అవుతుంది ఇది క్లియర్ చేస్తుందని ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ ఎన్సి జీరో ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫార్ములా అప్లై చేయండి ఎంత ఎన్సిఆర్ అంటే ఎంత ఎన్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ బై ఆర్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ ఇంటూ ఎన్ మైనస్ ఆర్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ కాబట్టి ఇక్కడ జీరో ఇది ఆపరేట్ చేయండి ఆర్ ప్లేస్ లో జీరో పెట్టినప్పుడు ఏమైంది ఎన్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ బై ఆర్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ అంటే జీరో ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ ఇంటూ ఎన్ మైనస్ జీరో ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ అంటే ఎన్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ సో ద వాల్యూ ఈస్ సో ఎన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఎన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ విల్ గెట్ క్యాన్సిల్ వన్ బై జీరో ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ జీరో ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ ఇస్ వన్ వన్ బై వన్ ఇస్ వన్ రైట్ సో సిమిలర్లీ ఎన్సి వన్ వాల్యూ ఎన్ అవుతుంది ఎన్సి టూ ఎంత ఎన్ ఇంటూ n minus 1 by 2 and so on nc n minus 1 the value of nc n minus 1 is also n the nc n the value is 1 is it clear mero ok short note cheskondi ivanni okay nc 0 is 1 nc 1 is n nc 2 is n into n minus 1 by 2 and so on nc n minus 1 is n nc n is equal to 1 is it clear yes sir right and uh, another expansion x plus y whole power the 1 plus x whole power p by 2 root 1 plus x whole power p by q సో మనం ఇందాక ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ వై హోల్ పవర్ అయిన ఎక్స్పాన్షన్ రాసాం ఇక్కడ వన్ ప్లస్ ఎక్స్ హోల్ పవర్ పి బై క్యూ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ద ఎక్స్పాన్షన్ డైరెక్ట్ గా నోట్ చేస్తున్నాం చూసుకోండి ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ వన్ ప్లస్ ఎక్స్ హోల్ పవర్ పి బై క్యూ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ ప్లస్ పి బై క్యూ ఎన్ ప్లస్ లో పి బై క్యూ ఉంది అంటే ఎన్సి నాట్ వాల్యూ పి బై క్యూ బై వన్ ఫ్యాక్టోరియల్ ఇంటూ ఎక్స్ పవర్ వన్ అంటే ప్లస్ next one p by q into instead of n we are having p by q p by q minus 1 by 2 factorial into x square the first one nt p by q c not p by q c not value is 1 into 1 power the expansion value kada 1 power p by q into x power 1 uh, 1 power p by q next n p by q c 1 anamata p by q c 1 ante p by q by 1 factorial into 1 power p by q minus 1 into x power 1 next p by q c 2 p by q c 2 ante anta p by q into p by q minus 1 by 2 factorial into x square so what is the next term p by q c 3 ante ma val n c 3 n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 3 factorial instead of n we are having p by q kaabatti em avutundi p by q into 
p by q minus one into p by q minus two by three factorial into x cube. Okay, plus so on. The expansion will be put for. Is this expansion is clear? One plus x whole power p by q is equal to one plus p by q by one factor into x power one plus p by q into p by q minus one by two factor into x square plus p by q into p by q minus one into p by q minus two by three factor into x cube plus so on. Is it clear? Yes, sir. The expansion not just for day. If you put the expansion, we have no problem. No problem. Is come out. Okay, so now I will go, I will move on to the problem. Right. So I want to give you a chance to do that. Limit n times to infinity. And the root n plus one by n. Is equal to one. Man, this is the important problem for five marks. So, Kavit as usual, man, came in to given that, given that root n plus one by n. Then you have to limit man of find out here. Then, okay. Now we have to show that limit n times infinity root of n plus one by n is equal to one. So we have the relation, and we have n is always less than or equal to n is always less than n plus one for all small n belongs to capital N. Is it clear? n एपुरु कुडा n plus one कंटे तक उन तुंडी for all मालेन belongs to capital N is it clear sir right नहीं नो one by n operate जास नन बोल सही तब डे में n by n is less than n plus one by n अंडे n by n नन टेंथ इन दी that implies n by n is one is less than n plus one by n So I'm taking square root now throughout the equation. For all small n belongs to capital N. For all small n belongs to capital N. Right? That is square root. This one time in the one is less than square root of n plus one by n. For all small n belongs to capital N. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to say that one is less than root of n plus one by n for all small n belongs to capital N. Then I'll go back and put in this equation one and one. Right? I'm clearing this. So now again I'm taking again I'm taking square root of n plus one by n. So which will be taken as here we think I ask what mano then if one plus one by n whole power and the one by two right sir I got the right sir now if we are open on the part of the one plus x whole power p by q right. One plus x whole power p by q. I expand the plane chain by now by now I will expand the vector. So I mean one plus x whole power uh, p by q. And then I mean can you tell so one plus x whole power p by q is equal to. Please mano note kono. I am telling one plus p by q by one factorial into x power one plus p by q into P by Q minus one by two factorial into x square plus P by Q 
into p by q minus one into p by q minus two by three factorial into x cube plus so on. How na? So ekad x plus la ekad one plus la one nundi x plus la nthu thamma one by n. P by q plus la nthu thi one by two. Is it clear? Yes. Sir. इक्वेशन Two factorial into x square. Okay. Uh, next, plus so on and vice versa. Nika mana expand. Okay. Which is equal to then simply I change up the mind. One plus ma one by two by one factor and this is one by two. One by two into one by n. And then that in the one by two n. Is it clear? Yes, uh, Jafar, you raise the hand. Sir, one by n whole square plus sir, the. All right, thank you. Very good. So this value is uh, one by n whole square. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jafar. All right. So then simplify it. Now we will see one by two minus one. One by two minus one and then the minus one by. Two. So minus one by two into one by two. Enta minus one by four. Minus one by four by two factorial. By two factorial into two. Enta in minus one by four by two. Ante minus one by eight into one by n whole square. And then touch na tamam man ki the total value minus one by eight n square. A plus so on. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. आई दिन वैल्यू पर जो अंडे वन प्लस वन बाय टू एंड लॉन्च ही पंद्रह तीस एस ना गावटी दिन वैल्यू एम ऑफ इंडी विच इज लेस देन वन बाय वन प्लस वन बाय टू एम ओके ना वन प्लस वन बाय टू एंड लॉन्च ही पंद्रह वैल्यू ताकि इन जास्ना गावटी दिन वैल्यू एम ऑफ इंडी विच इज लेस देन वन प्लस वन आंटी पर मान क्या हो चुकी है रूट ऑफ एन प्लस वन बाय एन इज लेस देन वन प्लस वन बाय एन द रूट ऑफ एन प्लस वन बाय एन इज लेस देन वन प्लस वन बाय टू एन ओके दिस इज इक्वेशन टू राइट रूट ऑफ एन प्लस वन एन प्लस एन बाय एन इज लेस देन वन प्लस वन बाय टू एन इज इट क्लियर अच्छा। तो फ्रॉम वन इक्वेशन वन एंड इक्वेशन तो इंदर की इक्वेशन वन है वो चिंदी। वन इज लेस देन रूट ऑफ एन प्लस वन बाय एन। तो इक्वेशन टू है वो चिंदी। रूट ऑफ एन प्लस वन बाय एन इज लेस देन वन प्लस वन बाय टू एन। तो क्या बात है? तू क्लियर दोस्त। फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन एंड इक्वेशन ट� n plus one by n. It is less than from equation two. And that's it. One plus one by two n. For all small n belongs to capital N. If the player open on the chart only, yes n is less than u n is less than t n. Right? So that is the limit value find out. Change the limit value find out. Change. So limit one. Limit of one is equal to the one. Next. Limit n times to infinity. One or one plus one by two n is equal to. In value of this, as n times to infinity, one by n times to zero. So this is one plus zero, which is equal to one. And then this value converges to one, and this value converges to one. By sandwich theorem on limits. By sandwich theorem on when you approach limit. n times to infinity root of n plus one by n 
is equal to 1. Adhe kada man toche manadu? Thanks, bro. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I'll show the PPT. Right, student A. So prove that name 10 times 10 root square root of n plus 1 by n is equal to 1. Right? So card man gave you given that name 10 times 10 root square root of n plus 1 by n. So now we have to show that name 10 times 10 root square root of <coughs> n plus 1 by n is equal to 1. Right? We have n less than n plus 1 for all small n belongs to capital N. Right? So that implies 1 less than. Then by operating by 1 by n and throughout this equation, I get 1 is less than n plus 1 by n for all small n belongs to capital N. So that implies 1 is less than 1 plus 1 by n for all small n belongs to capital N. I'm taking square root on both throughout the equation. That implies 1 is less than 1 plus 1 by n whole power 1 by 2 for all small n belongs to capital N. Right? That implies 1 is less than 1 plus 1 by n whole power 1 by 2. So, which is in the form of 1 plus x whole power p by q. 1 plus x whole power p by q for formula nd. 1 plus p by q by 1 factor into x power 1. Plus p by q into p by q minus 1 by 2 factorial into x square. Plus p by q into p by q minus 1 into p by q minus 2 by 3 factorial into x q plus into 1. So, I am operating this formula here. So, instead of uh, x, we are having 1 by n. Instead of p by q, we are having 1 by 2. So, which is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 p by q. 1 by 2 into 1 by n by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 factorial into 1 by n square plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1 into 1 by 2 minus 2 by 3 factorial into 1 by n whole q plus so on. So, then the other thing implies that implies 1 is less than 1 plus 1 by n whole power 1 by 2 is equal to and the 1 plus 1 by this, this implies the 1 by 2n. Then you can simply just the minus 1 by 8n square plus so on. So this value is less than 1 plus 1 by 2n. So that implies one game of the 1 is less than 1 plus 1 by n whole power 1 by 2 is less than 1 plus 1 by 2m for all small n belongs to capital N. Now limb 10 times to infinity 1 is equal to 1. Limb 10 times to infinity 1 plus 1 by 2 power n is equal to 1. So therefore, by Sandwich theorem, if S and T and U N are any three sequences such that for a, a some positive integer k, S N less than or equal to U N less than or equal to T N for all small n belongs to capital N and N greater than or equal to K, and limit S N is equal to limit T N is equal to L, then limit U N is equal to L. Therefore, limit of one plus one by n whole power one by t is equal to one. Therefore, limit of square root of n plus one by n is equal to one. This is the most important. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. The next problem is also most important one. So then in a blackboard learn in chapter no next problem ano PPT la choda chhu. So jab kar don just only step by step. Right. This is the most important one. For uh, sometimes asked for five marks and sometimes asked for ten marks also. Right. Uh, what is the problem is so that limit n times to infinity limit n times to infinity one by n plus one whole square plus 1 by n plus 2 whole square plus 1 by n plus 3 whole square plus so on plus 1 by n plus n whole square. The most important one is equal to 0. Right? And we have to show that in 10 times to infinity, 1 by m plus 1 whole square 
plus 1 by n plus 2 whole square plus 1 by n plus 3 whole square plus so 1 plus 1 by n plus n whole square is equal to 0. Right? So, that my range of poly, my range is called given that limb 10 times 10 to 1 by n plus 1 whole square plus 1 by n plus 2 whole square plus 1 by n plus 3 whole square plus 1 plus 1 by n plus n whole square. So, in a just not day for 1 less than or equal to m less than or equal to n. In a just not day for all n greater than or equal to m key 1 less than or equal to m less than or equal to n and this one. Okay. 1 less than or equal to m less than or equal to n for all n greater than or equal to m. Right? So, but in range is not throughout to n at chest in the way. That implies you mean n plus 1 is less than or equal to n plus m is less than or equal to n plus n for all n greater than or equal to n. Right? So again, uh, I'm taking square throughout the equation. What do I mean? n plus 1 for the square is less than or equal to n plus m only square is less than or equal to n plus n whole square for all n greater than or equal to m. Okay. So, in a range is under reverse chase. That implies, I mean the reverse chase 1 by n plus 1 whole square is greater than or equal to 1 by n plus m whole square is greater than or equal to 1 by n plus n by n plus n whole square for all n greater than or equal to m. Yes, sir. Right? So then in a reverse chest, put my equation last one. And in the reverse chest, reverse chest, one by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to one by n plus m whole square is less than or equal to one by n plus one whole square. Right? And then ask me. So I mean that implies. 1 by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to 1 by n plus m whole square is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 whole square for all n greater than or equal to m. This is Roman equation 1. Put in a range of n and take m plus law 1 per te, work equation. The m plus law 2 per te, another equation. Alaga m plus law 3 per te, another equation. Alaga m value 1, 2, 3 and so on n work is to be done. Right? So now substitute. Now substitute. I am giving the values of m only. Now substitute. M is equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on, N. Okay? In equation Roman 1. In equation Roman 1. Manaka put N equation first, Emma? M value 1, 2, 3, and so on, N work, Pratisha, is N equation first, N unequal equation first, right? What is the first equation? First, I am putting m is equal to 1 so that 1 by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 whole square is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 whole square. 
this is one equation right second equation hai apni 1 by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 2 whole square is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 whole square this is equation 2 okay is it clear ardo avutunda right chevarne chevarne n and m is equal to n padutunnadu and avadu em ayindi 1 by and so on 1 by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to and the 1 by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 whole square this is the nth equation ఓకే ఇప్పుడు ఈ ఎన్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ ని యాడ్ చేయండి సో ఎన్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఎన్ ఎన్ ఈక్వల్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ వచ్చినాయి మనకి ఎన్ అన్ ఈక్వల్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ వచ్చినాయి మనకి ఈ ఎన్ అన్ ఈక్వల్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ ని యాడ్ చేయండి సో ఇక్కడ ఏమవుతుంది ఇది దిస్ వన్ వన్ బై ఎన్ ప్లస్ ఎన్ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై ఎన్ ప్లస్ ఎన్ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై ఎన్ ప్లస్ ఎన్ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ అండ్ సో ఎన్ ఈక్వే ఎన్ వచ్చినాయా మేబి ఎన్ ఎన్ టైమ్స్ సో అదే విధంగా ఇక్కడ వన్ బై ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ ఇది ఎన్ టైమ్స్ ఎన్ టైమ్స్ అంటే మనకి ఈక్వేషన్ ఏమవుతుంది ఈ అన్ని యాడ్ చేసుకుంటూ వెళ్తే ఎన్ అన్ ఈక్వల్ ఈక్వేషన్ యాడ్ చేస్తే మనకి ఏమవుతుంది ఈ ఎన్ బై ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ ఇస్ లెస్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ బై ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై ఎన్ ప్లస్ టూ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై ఎన్ ప్లస్ ఎన్ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ ఇస్ లెస్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎంత అవుతుంది ఎన్ బై n plus 1 whole square is it clear ardham ayinda leda ardham ayi ee anni ee anni unequal equation ni manu add chestunnamu ivemo okate padam n times undi kabatti n by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 whole square plus 1 by n plus 2 whole square plus 1 plus 1 by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to ee 1 by n plus n whole square n times vachindi n times vachin kabatti n by n plus 1 whole square okay now enjoy us now add the above unequal n unequal equation we get m of the n by n plus n whole square k is less than or equal to and the 1 by n plus 1 whole square plus 1 by n plus 2 whole square plus 1 by n plus 3 whole square plus so on plus 1 by n plus n whole square a mind which is less than or equal to n by n plus 1 whole square is this clear for all small n belongs to capital n comma n greater than or equal to n is it clear yes sir right this is the sequence sn no? this is un and this is tn so kaad manu em cheyali ippudu limit sn value find out cheskondi apdi em ayindi limit n times to infinity n by n plus n whole square is equal to enta limit n times to infinity and the n by n plus n ante 2n whole square 2n whole square ante 4n square n by 4n square which is equal to the limit n times to infinity 1 by 4n card id in value em avutundi 0 0 next we value find out cheyandi So limit n times to infinity n ta n by n plus 1 whole square which is equal to kinda n common t and divide k n common this the byte k vidhanga avutundi n square kinda avutundi 
गाड़े में ले लिमिट एन टाइम्स की इनफिनिटी एन बाय एन स्क्वायर इनटू वन प्लस वन बाय एन होल स्क्वायर व्हिच इज इक्वल तू ओके एन ओ के एन ओ कैंसल है इन्दी वन बाय एन दिन पाइन रास कोणी गाड़े में ले लिमिट एन टाइम्स की इनफिनिटी एन था वन बाय एन बाय वन प्लस वन बाय एन होल स्क्वायर इज इट क्लियर नहीं नहीं रहा सर ये इकड़ वन बाय एन अंदर कैटिंग पाइंट रहा सर वन बाय एन बाय वन प्लस वन बाय एन होल स्क्वायर एस एन टेंस टू इंटी वन बाय एन टेंस टू जीरो कट जीरो बाय वन प्लस जीरो व्हिच इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस सीक्वेंस कन्वर्जेंस टू जीरो एंड दिस सीक्वेंस कन्वर्जेंस टू जीरो बाय सैंडविच तेरा मानो ये जा पड़ गया दिस वन कन्वर्जेंस टू जीरो सो दैट इज लिमिट एन टाइम्स टू इनफिनिटी वन बाय एन प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय एन प्लस टू होल स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय एन प्लस थ्री होल स्क्वायर प्लस तो वन प्लस वन बाय एन प्लस एन होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज इट क्लियर क्लियर सर राइट दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम एको शो दट प्रॉब्लम अर्थ नैक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ईजी गो दट लिमिट एन टाइम इनफिनी वन बाय एन प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय एन प्लस टू होल स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय एन प्लस थ्री होल स्क्वायर प्लस इस वन प्लस वन बाय एन प्लस एन होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट कार्ड मान में मान के भी चेंडू गिवन दैट इन टेन टाइम्स इनफिनिटी वन बाय एन प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय एन प्लस टू होल स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय एन प्लस थ्री होल स्क्वायर प्लस इस वन प्लस वन बाय एन प्लस एन होल स्क्वायर तो ने नहीं दिस कुंठन हो पर वन लेस देन आर इक्वल टू एम लेस देन आर इक्वल टू एन पर ऑल एन ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल टू एम पर ऑल एन ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल टू एम की ने नहीं दिस कुंठन हो वन लेस देन आर इक्वल टू एम लेस देन एन तो ने नहीं रोपण हो चेंड होगे तो कहने प्राइसिंग जैसी है कबड़ी ने � So I'm taking squaring on. So I'm taking square throughout the equation. So that implies n plus one whole square is less than or equal to n plus m whole square is less than or equal to n plus n whole square. For all n greater than or equal to. In the case of square, just an integer to one thing. Here the number of lines is whole square. Okay. So if you do that, you can just call it. You can just convert this to all. Matto. And you can just square this to one. If you have one by one, you can do. I'm taking reverse. So that means reverse shape of the way in the 1 by n plus 1 whole square is greater than or equal to 1 by n plus n whole square is greater than or equal to 1 by n plus n whole square for all n greater than or equal to here. So then my reverse shape of the way in the 1 by n plus n is less than n plus n whole square is less than or equal to 1 by n plus m whole square is less than or equal to 1 by n plus n plus 1 whole square for all n greater than or equal to here. अपने एन जैसे ना डे इक्वलना ट्वेंटी एम लो एम की वन टू थ्री एंड गोन एन इनके लिए मार गेंग का वाले वन बाय एंड्रेस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय एंड्रेस टू होल स्क्वायर ये रोपण लोग ने तीस प्राउड का बेटे एम वेलवा वन टू थ्री एंड गोन एन वार की इसको ना तो का बेटे वे आर गेटिंग एन Again, I'm putting m is equal to two. At the we get one by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to one by n plus two whole square is less than or equal to one by n plus one whole square. This is the equation two. So and so on. So last equation is going to be one by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to one by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to one by n plus one whole square. This is the nth equation. तो ना देख रहे हो पूरी n अनिक्वल इक्वेशन तो नहीं तो अभी n अनिक्वल इक्वेशन ने ना ऐड किया सर तो क्या बोलते हैं कि ये मतलब अली साइड जोड़ने की वन्नी ऐड किया इसमें क्या था वन बाय एन प्लस एन होल स्क्वायर वन बाय एन प्लस एन होल स्क्वायर वन बाय एन प्लस एन होल स्क्वायर इन उन्हें ये न होना ही कब बट ना n plus n whole square is possible. Is less than or equal to. Even you add change. One by n plus one whole square plus one by n plus two whole square plus one plus one by n plus n whole square. Next, इकड़ जो उससे one by n plus n whole square plus one by n plus one whole square इन्होंने ये न होना है. कावड़ टेम होता है ना जो 
n by n plus 1 whole square. So finally, I'm getting n by n plus n whole square is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 whole square plus 1 by n plus 2 whole square plus 1 plus 1 by n plus n whole square, which is less than or equal to n by n plus 1 whole square. Right, this is in the form of Sn less than or equal to Un less than or equal to Pn for all small n belongs to capital N. So now I'm finding the value, limit value. So limit of n by n plus n whole square, I'm getting zero. Limit of n by n plus one whole square, I'm getting zero. Therefore, by Sandwich theorem, so limit of n by n plus one whole square plus one by n plus two whole square plus one plus one by n plus n whole square is equal to zero. And so, is it clear? Right. So same model like a problem in the one problem I will explain another problem. Please listen carefully. After that, I will give some homework problems for you. Okay. Right. Great chairman key problem show that show that limit n times to infinity one by root n square plus 1 plus 1 by root, n square plus 2 plus 1 by root, n square plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 by root, n square plus n is equal to 1 and 1 and 2 c and 2. And let me prove you do. Limit n times to infinity 1 by root of n square plus 1 plus 1 by root of n square plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 by root of n square plus n is equal to 1 and 1 2 c and 2. Third in this now, given that limit n times to infinity 1 by root of n square plus 1 plus 1 by root of n square plus 2 plus so on plus 1 by root of n square plus n. So as usual, for 1 less than or equal to m less than n, for all n greater than or equal to n. So when you get n square plus 1, n square plus 2, are open of Ravali. Cover it in ages and first two, n square is add just now. Cover it in the n square plus 1 is less than or equal to n square plus m is less than or equal to n square plus n for all n greater than or equal to n. So we are going to root on the cavity taking root throughout the equation. So that implies root of n square plus 1 is less than or equal to root of n square plus m is less than or equal to root of n square plus n for all n greater than or equal to m. So we are going to root 1 by root of cavity in reverse chase on the equation. We are going to find the 1 by root red square plus 1 is greater than or equal to 1 by root n square plus m is greater than or equal to 1 by root n square plus n for all small n greater than or equal to n. So then you reverse just from the like how much in the 1 by root n square plus n is less than or equal to 1 by root n square plus m is less than or equal to 1 by root n square plus 1 for all n greater than or equal to n. This is Roman equation 1. So put it in jail, ma. Next step, what I have to do? Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what, what I have to do now? The equation, Roman equation, one more time. M plus law, one, two, three, and so on. Right. right. M plus law, one, two, three, and so on. N work, one prediction is there. One key N equation. First equation, you know, today, now, substituting m is equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on n in equation common 1, we get the first equation is m plus low prediction is 1 by root square n square plus m is less than or equal to 1 by root n square plus 1 is less than or equal to 1 by root n square plus 1. This is equation 1. So now I am putting m is equal to 2 so that I get the equation 1 by root n square plus n is less than or equal to 1 by root n square plus 2 is less than or equal to 1 by root n square plus 1. This is equation 2. And 1 by root, and I am putting n, m is equal to 3. So 1 by root n square plus n is less than or equal to 1 by root n square plus 3 is less than or equal to 1 by root n square plus 1. This is equation 3. And so on, putting m is equal to n. Finally, the nth equation is 1 by root n square plus n is less than or equal to 1 by root n square plus n is less than or equal to 1 by root n square plus 1. This is nth equation. Brain Jali, one degree n unequal equations, the n unequal equations may add the end. So add just the m of the monkey, this side add just the m and came up 1 by root n square plus n and n times such in the n times such in the cover key. 
దీని వాల్యూ ఏమవుతుంది ఎన్ బై రూట్ ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ అండ్ ఇది యాడ్ చేస్తే వన్ బై రూట్ ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై రూట్ ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ టూ ప్లస్ వన్ బై రూట్ ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ త్రీ అండ్ వన్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై రూట్ ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ ఎన్ ఇస్ లెస్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ బై రూట్ ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ ఎన్ టైమ్స్ వచ్చినాయమ్మా ఎన్ టైమ్స్ వచ్చినాయి కాబట్టి ఎన్ బై రూట్ స్క్వేర్ రూట్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ వన్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ఎన్ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎన్ రైట్ సో ఇప్పుడు ఏం చేయాలి మనం వాట్ హ్యావ్ టు డూ నౌ limit of n n by all right root yeah. n square plus 1 right now we have to find limit of n by root n square plus 1 next limit of root n by root n square plus 1 so now limit n tends to infinity n by root n square plus n ikkada n square undi kabatti nenu n square root n square ni byte common chestanu byte ku vachete appude e vidhanga vastundi root n square kinda byte ku vastundi కాబట్టి లిమిట్ ఎన్ టెన్స్ ఇంటి ఎన్ బై రూట్ ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ ఇంటూ రూట్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ప్లస్ సార్ ఎన్ బై ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ ఎన్ బై ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ అంటే ఎంత వన్ బై ఎన్ సో రూట్ ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ వాల్యూ ఈజ్ ఎన్ కాబట్టి పైన ఎన్ కింద ఎన్ క్యాన్సిల్ అయిపోయి నాకేం మిగులుతుంది లిమిట్ ఎన్ టెన్స్ ఇన్ఫినిటీ వన్ బై రూట్ వన్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై ఎన్ యాజ్ ఎన్ టెన్స్ టు ఇన్ఫినిటీ వన్ బై ఎన్ టెన్స్ టు జీరో కాబట్టి ఏమైంది వన్ బై రూట్ 1 plus 0 which is equal to 1 is it clear is it clear yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. all right again i am finding limit n times to infinity n by root n square plus 1 ikkada n square undi kabatti n square ni byte isthe root n square kinda byte ku vastundi root n value n kabatti limit n times to infinity n by n into root of 1 plus 1 by n square so n n will get cancel will get the limit n times infinity 1 by root of 1 by 1 plus n square so kaati em avutundamma as n times to infinity 1 by n times to 0 1 by n square also tends to 0 so it is equal to 1 by root 1 plus 0 which is equal to 1 so kaati em ayindi ee oka limit value zero ayindi deeni oka limit value zero ayindi kabatte by sandwich theorem man em cheppochu so limit of 1 by root of n square plus 1 plus 1 by root of n square plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 by root of n square plus n is equal to 0 right is it clear yes sir yes sir right these type of problems are most important for uh, examinations right uh, సో ఈ దీంతో నేను ఈ రోజు క్లాస్ ముగిస్తాను మీకు ఏదైనా డౌట్స్ ఉంటే కనుక క్లారిఫై చేసుకోవచ్చు రైట్ ఇస్ దర్ ఎనీ డౌట్స్ రైట్ సో టుమారో విల్ మీట్ అగైన్ సో రేపటి క్లాస్ లో ఈ దీనికి సంబంధించినటువంటి మరికొన్ని ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ మనం డిస్కస్ చేయాలి ఓకే సో ఐ స్టాప్ దిస్ టుడే అండ్ అగైన్ విల్ మీట్ టుమారో రైట్ సార్ 